Well, I'm on my way to Israel, but it's about an hour now, about an hour from now when I actually leave here the hotel in Dallas at the Visual Story Network. So I thought I would share with you, my Emerge Network friends, what the kinds of things that I'm hearing them say here at the Visual Story Summit that we've been having. Now the people that are gathered here are the top names in Christian media. These are not uh, TV preachers. These are the ones that produce Christian films, Christian TV shows, uh, shorts for the internet, uh, they're, just, they're just a very interesting group of people, and they know what they're talking about. Uh, one of the analogies that they gave the day was uh, American Idol. The guy said, you know, we've got to develop our abilities to produce media at a level that the world respects and a level that really gets a hold of them. And he said, what's been happening in Christian media so far, and this was the director of Steelhouse Productions, he said, it's as though uh, we've had the, the Christian version of American Idol going, and we've got uh, the Paula Abdul role. Uh, he said, you know, that's played in the church so beautifully, where everybody goes, oh, you know, that was great, whether it's a musical or a song that you wrote or whatever, and we just encourage you and say, wow, that's so wonderful. And he said, you know, what we need at this stage in the game, what we need, are some Simon Cowles who look you in the eye and say, you know, I know you're singing your heart out, but you're just not good enough to compete yet. You've got to get out there and get your skills developed. And that's really what we're lacking across the board. Uh, we're not telling stories effectively. We're not uh, skilled enough in the proper use of, of video, even songwriting techniques. And, you know, we do a lot of things in the church that's just sort of, um, it's amateur. Uh, it's got a good heart to it, and you can tell, you know, the people are really passionate, but there's not enough work that has gone into a lot of these projects. Uh, videos don't have good sound, things aren't edited well, uh, you know, just it's just sloppy, and we're going to have to raise our standards or the world is never going to pay attention. I heard one group who said that uh, in their production company, they believe that the quality of the production, the, the lighting, the acting, they said they believe the quality of the production is, is as important as the doctrine that's in the production. Because the doctrine may be amazing, it may be right exactly in line with the scriptures, but if the quality of the production is not at the standard that the world is expecting when they turn on television, uh, it, it, you know, it, it casts a bad light on everything about your message. So even though your doctrine was right because your message was not done professionally, they're still not going to listen to it. It won't have impact. And they'll decide in about five seconds if you're in the, if you need to be producing media that they're going to look at. So we need to rescue Christian TV. You know, I don't, I don't watch Christian TV. I try to watch it, but there's just not enough on it that's compelling to me. So I feel like we need to rescue Christian TV. Uh, Christian music could use a shot in the arm as well. We've got the whole Internet right out in front of us to, to use for ministry, but we've got to do it at a, at a very high standard that is using our very best God-given talent and ability. And the Lord has put those gifts of the Holy Spirit in you. You've got creativity, but you need to find yourself a, a developmental path. Either go to, go to some media training school or just get online and dig it out. You know, get some critique uh, for projects that you make from people that will give you, you know, some good, hard feedback. Because if you're not getting some negative feedback, when you ask somebody their point of view, you know, and Tell me how are we doing with our, our music and whatever it, whatever it is you're doing in the arts to communicate. Uh, if you, you need to find the kind of friends that will look at what you're doing and then give you some good negative critique because you'll never improve if you're just getting pats on the back all the time and encouragement. Somebody has to tell you the truth and uh, love those people because they, they have a special gift in our life. So do your very best. Let's just keep getting better and better and better at what we do. God bless.